Okay guys, now when I normally do these versus videos, I usually don't compare two knives that are so similar in their function and design. But today, we're making a kind of exception, and we're going to be talking about the Cold Steel SRK versus the good old uh, K-Bar, K-Bar, the good old 7-inch K-Bar utility and fighting knife. And we're going to be breaking them down and explaining how these two are similar and different. Now, let's jump into it. The first part I think we should start off with is their similarities. Now, these two, in my opinion, have quite a bit alike, though they do have, they come from two different times, so they have two different ways of shaping themselves. But by and large, they both have clip point blades. They're both about the same size. They have very similar grinds. Some people say that this is a saber grind and this is a flat grind, but honestly, between a saber and a flat grind, there really isn't much difference between the actual blades. Uh, pretty much a saber just simply means that it's a flat grind that has a higher grind uh, start. So they both have the same bevel, but this has uh, a little bit less, a little bit less meat behind the very end where the bevel first starts. So. Hypothetically, that means that it's a little bit better at slicing than the K-Bar, but <clears throat> in practice, it doesn't really mean much. So, like I was saying, these two are very similar knives. I think the primary difference between them is truly what they are designed to be. The SRK is a very dedicated survival knife, whereas the K-Bar 7-inch Fighting Utility Blade, as the name kind of implies is designed to be a fighting slash utility knife. So this is the same thing that you can open your MRE with, that you could potentially use to save your life. Um, there's just many different applications that the K-Bar falls into. Now, in this day and age where there is such a flood in the market of excellent survival and bushcrafting knives, the K-Bar has been kind of frowned upon as a half rate or just not really good bushcrafting or survival knife. And I can second the bushcrafting part, but for survival, I'm not 100% convinced because comparing these two knives in an actual test, a head-to-head -head comparison, they honestly perform very similarly. And once again, I was partially expecting that because once again, in things like thickness, in blade length, um, grind and even the blade materials are largely the same between these two knives um, this one being sk5 and this being 1095 so they're basically the same blade steel just sk5 is a foreign version of 1095 high carbon so they're very similar like i said in uh, their specs and in their capabilities and in their design, by and large, for use as a survival tool, they're actually designed to they're actually designed to function in pretty similar ways. So that's why I wasn't terribly surprised when they actually started performing in very similar ways. Uh, so in the end, my experience on the test, I would say that the K bar, especially due to its slightly longer blade length, gives it an edge in batoning and the SRK, due to its higher grind, does have a slight edge in making notches and really digging deep into wood. These two are both not going to be very effective at chopping, and both of them are okay at striking a ferro rod. Neither are amazing, though the SRK is definitely better than the K-Bar. In the end, though, I make these videos uh, comparing the K-Bar and doing reviews on the K-Bar, because I think a lot of people underwrite this knife, and I think that the K-Bar is essentially a lot like the 1911 of the knife world, where it's been around so long that there are newer and better options. However, the reality to the K-Bar is if you take the time to learn it and understand how to make it work and you develop the right technique to use it, you'll find that it can perform on a similar level to things like the SRK. So at the end of the day, it comes down to what really you want out of a knife 
and what gives you the fizz and what makes you excited to use the blade. If you like the heritage and the record of the K-Bar, it's a great knife and especially if you remove the top guard, it's going to perform just as well as this SRK. However, the SRK is probably a superior option if you're just looking for a survival knife due to the fact that it has a very grippy uh, kind of rubberized plastic handle and, and overall it has a little bit more going for it due to the fact that this is the search and rescue knife or SRK. So it's a little bit more purpose driven, purpose built for survival purposes. But one thing I do like about both of these knives, or that I like to show off with both of these knives, is that neither of them are true to form full tang knives. I mean, this one's tang does stick out or does show at the end of the blade, but both of them are rat tail tanged knives. And, you know, neither are super robust, super crazy, but you can see that even to have a good batoning knife, you don't necessarily need that. And while lemons of both of these knives exist and batoning can bring that out, these two I have as examples of K-Bar and SRK are more than tough enough uh, for anything I've put them through. And I have intentionally abused both of them just to make sure that they're up to my spec. So anyways guys, that is my breakdown of the Cold Steel SRK versus the K-Bar 7 inch fighting utility knife. Okay guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.